All right, so I'm going to, what am I gonna do? One more? All right, I'm gonna prime my face with the Too Faced P Primed and Peachy Cooling Matte Skin Primer. So I've been doing this thing for the past week where I don't put any heat on my hair and it's been fine, actually. I was gonna say it's been hard, but then I'm like, no, it's actually been fine. My hair obviously doesn't look as fabulous as it does when I straighten it or do like my beach waves, but I feel like it's the better thing to do for my hair. Michael and I are going on um, vacation in September. I'm going on two vacations in September actually. I'm going on a cruise with my family. Michael has to work and we're going on another vacation at the end of September, we're going to Hawaii, and because Michael took off for that time, he's not able to go to the cruise. So, I'm going on two seven-day vacations in September. <laughs> That's quite a lot, actually. So, I've been trying to make my hair healthy because I want it to be nice, nice and long for my vacations. So, I've just been no heat. I haven't colored it in forever. I've just been leaving it alone. All right, for my foundation, I'm gonna use the Physicians Formula Healthy, the Healthy Foundation. It has SPF 20 and it's a brightening complex. My Real Technique sponge. I just saw a video that Kathleen Lights just posted today and she was using this foundation and I'm like, I'm gonna use this today. Alright, my concealer, I'm using my NARS Radiant and Creamy Concealer. Uh, this is the first time I've ever bought this concealer and I like it. I think it's really full coverage. The only thing is, I feel like it kind of creases on me a lot. I don't know if that's normal or... One concealer that I really love and I want to buy is the Urban Decay All Nighter Concealer. I feel like that didn't crease on me a lot at all. As far as I can remember. This one I feel like just creases a lot. If anyone feels like that too, could you put it in, could you leave a comment and let me know if it's just me or if you feel the same way because I feel like I would like it so much more if it just didn't crease so much. Okay, and so before I do any of my powders to set that, I'm gonna use my Wet n Wild contour stick. Again, I put it on top of my cheekbone rather than in the hollows of my cheek because when I blend it out, I try to keep it higher rather than low because I don't want it to make my face look more wide than it is. Because then that just defeats the purpose of contour, you know? I always use this brush and it's their Real Techniques angled brush. I think it's called the sculpting. Yeah, it's called the sculpting brush and I literally feel like this is the perfect contour brush. It's the perfect angle. It's very dense. It's great. Okay, so this side is looking a little patchy, and this never does this with this contour stick, and I think maybe it's from this foundation. I've never used the two together, I don't think. So, that kind of sucks, but that's okay. So I'm gonna set my under eyes with my Kat Von D translucent powder. Oh my god, did anybody see that Kat Von D's pregnant? That's so sweet. Okay, so I'm gonna just do, put some powder. I'm using the CoverGirl Vitalist, it's the healthy powder. I'm just gonna put this under my contour to kind of just sharpen it up, you know? I didn't realize I put that much. <laughs> Jeez. There, that's a little bit better. 
Okay, so I'm using the, it's the Hidden Treasures box from Tarte Cosmetics, and I'm gonna use this color on the end here. It's a shimmery bronzer. I mean, not so shimmery. It's just a kind of like a satin. It's, you know what I mean. So I'm just gonna set this contour using this. 